data entry fields in Storyline allows you to collect information from learners, which is stored in variables. These variables can be adjusted with triggers or displayed on any slide or layer using references. In this video, we're going to work with Storyline's data entry fields to collect some basic information from our learners. Specifically, we're going to ask the learner to give us their name and we'll use that information to personalize the rest of the course for the learner. So the idea for this demonstration is we are welcoming the learner to the course and we want to just capture their name. This is a very common use case for the text entry option. So as you can see, I already have a slide prepared for our demonstration. So let's see how this works. This is a very simple slide. It has a simple background, one character, and an illustrated name tag. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'll go to the Interactive Objects section. I'll select Input, and you can see you have Data Entry down here. There are two types of data entry. You have the Text Entry field, which is used for capturing alphanumeric data. And you have the numeric entry field, which you can use to capture numbers. But for this demonstration, we're going to be using the text entry field. So I'll go ahead and select the text entry field. And the moment I select it, I can place it anywhere on my slide. And at this point, it pretty much works just like any other object. I can resize it and format it however I want. If I wanted to change the font, I could do that. I could resize the font, uh, pretty much make any formatting changes that I want. So I'm pretty happy with um, the way it looks. The one thing I'd like to do is just make this text a little bit more descriptive for the learner. So I want to say, type your name. Well, let's just say type your first name here. It's important to note that when we added this text entry field, Storyline created a variable for us. And we can confirm that a variable has been created by simply navigating to the project variables um, right here and select this button. And you can see that a variable uh, named text entry has been created. Here you can see the name of the variable, the type of variable that it is, and how many times it's been used. And if you want, you can change the name. So let's go ahead and change the name here to first name. I double clicked on it, that's why it gave me this dialog. Um, but if you click once on it, you can just go ahead and type into it like that. And I'll go ahead and click OK. So now that we have a text entry field added and Storyline has created a variable for us, when the learner adds their name into this text entry field, Storyline is going to capture and hold on to that data. And then we can tell Storyline to display that value anywhere in the project simply by using a variable reference. The way that we add a variable reference is by navigating to insert, select the text box, and draw the text box on the slide. Keep it active, don't click away from it, and then navigate back to insert, and select Reference. And this will open up the References dialog. And all you have to do is select the variable that you want to reference. So we want the first name variable. So I'm going to select that and I'll click OK. So now you can see that that variable has, that reference has been added onto the slide. And I can simply select it, right click on it, 
and I can cut it and play, place it anywhere on any slide that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it and I'll head over to this next slide and you can see the next slide here I have um, I have a text box on this slide and right in this text box I can simply paste the project variable that I just copied just like that and I can do the same thing throughout the project I've got another slide here if I want I can go ahead and select and I can right click and paste that same reference so now if I preview this entire project let's see how that looks so we see the first slide here I'm gonna go ahead and type my name and voila the next slide you can see that value is displayed here because the variable reference is here so it's referencing that variable that we created if I go to the next slide the same thing so this is a really great way to personalize your e-learning course for your learner